Hey, what's up guys? Um, my last video that I posted on here didn't have very good uh, lighting on it, and so this one really doesn't either. But this is my Mitsubishi Lancer ES 2008, and I've been doing projects on it, been working hard on it. Got, I think there's 17 inch chrome wheels, and I just got a body kit in the other day, and this is it. It's a bomber body kit, I think it is. It's made of fiberglass. Um, it's pretty light. Um, let me show you guys the inside of this, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I now have my work light hooked up, so you guys can see. Um, let me turn the car on. Not really on, just do that. Um, okay, so, doing projects on it, got, put a sound system in it, um, I got kicker speaker right there, you can't really see it, but it's in the little panel, I got LG tweeters, um, the 08 ES does not come with, um, stock tweeters on it, so I'll put these in there, if I were to recommend tweeters, I would get the LJ tweeters, they're, uh, Pretty fucking loud. Um, whenever I have my stereo cranked up and I get home and I turn the car off, it literally feels like I shot like a nine millimeter without ear protection. Like my ears are like fuzzy. But um, it's a good car, you know. Uh, um, there's some things I don't like about it. Um, whenever you here, let me turn this light off. Whenever you have your headlights on, the illuminating lights on the inside are red like this really ugly like shade of red and uh if you guys know anything about how to take that out please send me a link comment um uh, i've got a claren head unit in it um it's an automatic um i think it's a four-cylinder engine not too fast not too slow i mean you know it's just right i would recommend a manual uh, automatics not too good whenever I speed it doesn't really shift too good but that just might be my personal car problem um, I have in the back here let me turn my light on again uh, um, these seats fold down the rear seats and I have in my trunk um, two kicker 12 subwoofers pretty nice to the comp one and uh, I got a uh, 1200 watt uh, amp on the back on the back of it um, I've also put a lighting system in here that I've done myself in the middle on the uh, in the middle console there's this and then it's got a, uh, a car plug in on it so turn these on I got underglow lights right there and then on the back, these were a pain in the ass to do, by the way. I've got those lights illuminating my subs. Um, you know, it's a pretty good car. Um, this also might be another personal car problem, but if you get subwoofers in this car, now th the mirror shaking is not that bad. It's that whenever, whenever I'll be like driving down the highway, this literally like. See how you can see in my rear view mirror? It'll be like this when I, whenever I'm on the highway and I cannot see behind me. Side view, view, I mean the side mirrors don't move. It's this. It's kind of annoying. I'm thinking about putting like putty or something on the ball joint. It, it's a ball joint. I don't know why they put that like that. But I've tried like zip ties. I've tried fucking everything. I'm not going to glue it because if I end up selling this car, which I probably will soon, I don't know, a few years. Um, it'll be a little funky. Um, you know, it's an alright car, you know. I mean, if this is my first car. So, if you're looking for a good car, reliable, um, kind of a project, um, to get, this would definitely be a car for you. Um, the interior is nice. Um, these you can replace. I'm getting these replaced with chrome soon. Uh, what else? Um, the only thing I really don't like about the interior are these. They're like, 
they're, it's like cardboard with like rubber around it, like in a wire on the on the on the trim right there, and that's kind of fucked up. And then I've noticed a problem with this on a, little, a lot of other Lancers. They've got this uh, side piece right here, and it seems to come off. It's probably like a two dollar piece of plastic to replace, but you know that comes off. It's it doesn't only come off; it's like broken. And what the fuck? Okay. And uh, pros and cons about this car, you know, you guys know now. Uh, very, very, very easy car to clean. There's not really any um, crevices that you can't clean. You know, I cleaned it uh, yesterday, and the floor is pretty much spotless other than that because I just drove home from school. Um, it's a nice car. It's good, you know. Um, I am six foot four and I fit in this car perfectly. I just have the seat all the way back. You know, I mean, this this is pretty much an all-around good car. Uh, I will, as soon as I get this body kit on, I will show you guys another um, video. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Please comment on how the fuck to get those little bastard lights out. Thanks, and uh, like this video.